I woke up uh, a couple times to check the basement and make sure there's no water, but it was a okay. Rich Stubit says he and his neighbors along 32nd Avenue in Queens feel a real sense of relief today. They are not pulling bags and bags of damaged debris out of their basements as they had to do after Ida. To be honest, I really don't think the city did much differently this time. I just think it came down to, you know, probably just less rain mm -hmm. overall. But Mayor de Blasio says he had city workers standing by to clear catch basins, lay sandbags, and if necessary, help people evacuate. He says the way the city tracks storms, which has improved over the last month, dictated the response. It's all about uh, the facts and the ability to confirm the facts. We did a lot more looking at what the storm was doing in the areas to the west of us, you know, several hours ahead, and we saw consistency in the reports. The MTA, too, was bracing for impact at flood-prone stations after the subway system flooded last time and several trains had to be evacuated. What we do is we go there and we make sure that we optimize the conditions, that we clean the catch basins, we make sure that the drains are working everywhere, we get to the valves that are vulnerable for whatever reason, and we attack those problems. Commuters today told us they by and large only experience normal issues they usually see when it rains. Thank you. I was delayed uh, by a couple of minutes, but uh, nothing like you know any other day that, that it rains like this. So it's fine.